What's going on guys? Welcome to day two. Day two of the 30 day challenge. I'm super pumped that you're here on my page checking out the next 30 days of my journey. Um, for those that uh, are just here, um, just yesterday I started a 30 day challenge where I'm going to record a new video every day. Um, and why am I doing this is because if you are consistent consistency brings confidence okay uh, i'm doing this for myself uh and i'm also doing this to show other people that hey if i can do this you can do this and why video why this because video is super powerful to get your message out to the world um and video really reaches uh you know has the potential to reach so many uh people and you can really share your story or your signature talk or things like that. Um, just sometimes in more of a compelling fashion. So anyways, day two. Day two is pretty simple, guys. I don't know who knows me. Who is this guy? He's just randomly starting to do these 30 day uh, or these videos for 30 days. Um, is he just some some dude off the street? Well, guys, okay, my name's Tyler Nelson. I am 33 years old. I currently live in Hawaii with my wonderful family, my sweet wife, who is my high school sweetheart. Um, that's a pretty cool story for another another time. Uh, I feel super lucky and super blessed um, to have her as my wife. And I have four beautiful children. Um, and initially we, not initially, but we are both from, uh, Boise, Idaho. I was born in Boise, uh, born and raised in Boise, Idaho. And my wife and I have lived in a handful of places. We have lived in, um, so we were married in Boise and then we lived in Portland. We've lived in Arizona and then we lived back in Boise. And now we're actually on a family adventure in Hawaii. And, um, all of this is possible. Why we're even here in Hawaii is because we're self-employed and we're entrepreneurs. And I have a wonderful business partner um, who's actually my brother-in-law, which um, a lot of people say, hey, don't go in to business with family. And uh, if anyone ever has any questions or thoughts on that, you know, hit me up. I'd love to love to chat with you about that. Um, you have to be very specific on who you uh, select as a business partner if you if you go that route. Um, and so, yeah, I'm super fortunate. Uh, you know, is everything smooth all the time and perfect? No, absolutely not. But is it awesome and does it work well? Heck yeah, uh, because we're both um, open and we're humble and we definitely complement each other. So this is... Uh, a little bit about me, you know, my entrepreneurship journey. Guys, I started uh, realizing at a very young age, about nine years old, um, is when I needed to start making some money. Uh, I grew up playing club soccer, and uh, at nine, that's when I, I started playing club soccer. And I'm the youngest of seven kids. My parents needed me to step up and help a little bit. Come to find out, you know, they they drove me every morning. Um, in Boise, Idaho, is a little spread out. It's not like, you know, back in the 50s or 60s or whatever when uh, you're riding your bike and uh, tossing papers. We, we delivered quite a few papers. And uh, so my parents took me every morning, sacrificed. They, they uh, provided for, for me. But they were teaching me in that moment that, hey, if you, if you want something, you got to earn it. You got to go get it. And that was just a, a really good life lesson um, for me to understand, hey, if you, if you want to play soccer or you want insert anything, X, Y, Z, you got to go get it, man. And uh, fast forward a couple years, um, I've got a, a, one of my brothers, I'm close with, um, you know, all my, all my family, just super fortunate that way. But one of my brothers, he wa he lived in uh, Missouri for a couple years. And this right here, guys, is when entrepreneurship really started triggering in my mind. Um, you, you know, you may think like, 
no way, you know, you're too young. No, it totally started um, resonating with me. I was, I uh, must have been about 11. We're 10 years apart. He was 21, 21, 22, right in there. So I was 11 or 12. And I remember him coming home and telling me of this guy that he met. And, um, you know, I don't want to butcher the story too much, but what I do remember was he was telling me that he met this man that made um, six figures, six figures to me. You know, we didn't grow up with a ton of money or anything like that. My parents were super, and still are to this day, super hardworking um, and wonderful, wonderful parents. But, you know, we didn't grow up with a ton of money. Um, and so six figures to me, you know, $100,000 sounded like a ton of money. That sounded like, holy cow, this guy made six figures doing what? My brother goes on to tell me, this dude shined shoes at the airport, in the St. Louis uh, airport. Stop a minute. This dude shined shoes. That right there is when I realized you can make money doing anything. Literally anything. This homeboy was shining shoes. That's awesome. That inspired me in that moment. And that has never, ever left me. So that right there is when I got the entrepreneur bug. And I knew that, hey, if some dude shining shoes could make a hundred thousand bucks, I could make a hundred thousand bucks doing anything. And that's when my journey started. Um, you know, I'm, I'm going to, uh, continue my story and how I started, um, multiple businesses and side hustles. I worked for, uh, you know, your, your nine to five. I worked for a wonderful company, uh, great people, family owned, uh, business, but it just wasn't, it just wasn't for me, um, at the end of the day. And what I mean by that is, um, I knew from that story that I just told you when I was 11 years old, I knew that working for a big corporation like that was not what I wanted to do. But it taught me a lot of lessons, a lot about processes um, in business, a lot about management, a lot about um, relationships, a lot about understanding your customers and your clients, how to manage people, how to hire and fire and uh man i learned a lot on you know being too nice and letting people stick around way too long just some really really valuable lessons and i'll go in uh to more detail um on on some of that on these next few videos but today i just wanted you to know a little bit about who i am and what i'm all about um tomorrow i'll go into the story about uh working for that company and then um the process of switching to uh starting businesses and side hustles uh to ultimately go out on my own um and in this case going out on my own i i partnered with my brother-in-law and um that's that's the story and it uh, hasn't been the easiest thing along the way. I would be lying to you and say, yep, we were super successful at every, absolutely every single thing that we did. Not true. Not true at all. Did we have a lot of success? Absolutely, we did. We learned us so much along the way. And I'm very grateful for those lessons um, because some people, you know, just fold and, and say, screw it. I'm done with this. It's too hard. It is hard. Entrepreneurship is tough. Being a business owner is tough. You got to make some calls that sometimes really make you stay up at night. But you know what? At the end of the day, if you're doing everything you possibly can to be a good person and to um, be honest and full of integrity in everything that you do, it will absolutely pay off. And um, in those tough situations, sometimes you got to you got to make the decision that's, you know, going to be best for you and your family. So guys, that's just a little bit about me, a little intro to me. I'm super pumped about the next 30 days. Um, and again, 
consistency brings confidence guys so i am i am learning more about video and how to to do better on video i'm gonna look, hopefully i look back in five years and you know i'm doing videos much better than this i mean look guys i'm sitting in a chair uh in my office and no crazy cool background or anything like that but that actually doesn't matter the whole process of what I'm doing is start now, get after it. Get after it, take imperfect action. Guys, please hit that subscribe button, hit the like, and leave a comment. You know, leave a comment of what you would like me to talk about, about business and entrepreneurship. Um, I am going to gear a lot of uh, things in, in the future about how to start side hustles and things like that. But in these next 30 days, um, let me know what you want to hear and, uh, follow me along on this journey. And, uh, I'm here to help in any possible way. If I can give you any form of value, that's my goal. God bless you guys. Take care. We'll see you tomorrow.